Hi, I'm Rory Foster with Common Ground, and I'm excited to share the international rotation with you that we have medical, PA, pharmacy, nurse practitioner, and other healthcare students on in Costa Rica. It's a fine program, and students are walking away with a true ability to use the Spanish language in a practical medical setting, uh, which is helping uh, our students find jobs and uh, treat the Spanish-speaking population uh, more effectively. So the program includes some intensive language training, a clinical, clinical placements where students are um, working and learning alongside professionals in Costa Rica, and also some medical mission work where we're treating the underserved uh, and some adventure travel as well. So, take a closer look at the medical work we do in Costa Rica, and if it looks like a good fit for you, we'd love to have you join us on our next program. I'm having a good time here with my family, and they've all kind of learned how to speak so I can understand them, speak a little bit slower and enunciate more for me. But the, the little kids here, about nine and younger, are the ones that I've been able to learn the most from because they'll take the time to kind of speak slowly for you and enunciate and they just love talking to you and so um, anything that you want to say or learn, they'll tell you. Um, our Costa Rican families are amazing. Um, we, they feed us insane amounts of food and uh, it's great to come home at the end of the day and really get to practice our Spanish and it's great because they correct us with different the, the forms that we use of Spanish and they're great about asking you about the United States and just really wanted to teach us about the culture and the language here in Costa Rica. Hi, it's Lori. I'm here uh, at school actually right now. Um, we have school every morning and it's really good. Um, it's a good amount of time, about 8 to noon with a break and teacher is great and I feel like um, it's gone at a good pace where uh, I've learned quite a bit. It can be overwhelming at times, but um, it's, it's really coming along. Uh, the Spanish classes have been very good. They're all conducted by native Spanish speakers, and uh, I feel like I've made a great deal of progress. I, I had some medical Spanish background before I arrived, but uh, I can tell that my skills have advanced quite significantly just in the three weeks since I've been here. Just a whole other world down here that's been interesting to get to know. We've done two clinics in one school. Um, the kids are all excited that we're there. Um, you can tell that they're just stuck kind of in a bad situation and at, and at school is where they're getting their nutrition, they're, they're learning stuff at school and when they go home after school you can just tell kind of by looking at them that they're definitely in a poor situation um, that's out of their hands so that's kind of hard, hard to see. Um, but I'm glad we're there giving them a little bit of help whatever we can. Um, playing with the kids, meeting some of the parents, talking with the people. Um, that's been a really enjoyable experience. And then yesterday we went to a little town outside of San Jose called La Carpio. And it's known for being one of the poorest cities in Costa Rica. It has a lot of Nicaraguan refugees from Nicaragua um, in the past that were trying to come to Costa Rica to make a better life for themselves. All of the houses are made with like pieces of scrap metal and tin. Um, everybody definitely has dirt, mud floors, and you know very little things. And and their houses are all next to each other, kind of just patchworked together. And the people were excited to see us there. Um, we went kind of door to door a little bit and helped where we could, um, answering people's questions and handing out vitamins and some basic pain medications and whatnot. Um, but it was just really interesting walking around in this neighborhood because it was the poorest place that I've ever seen. Um, it's especially different seeing it in person than when you see it on TV. 
um, because it's right there in front of your face. You, you don't really have the ability to move, remove yourself from it like you can on TV. Probably the most uh, surprising thing I've experienced here is uh, really how fatiguing and draining it is mentally and physically to learn a whole new way of communication 100% of the time. Um, I didn't realize how exhausting it would be to translate all the time. And um, so I go home and I have to talk to my family and I want to talk to them and spend time with them, get to know them, and they're so friendly and nice. But I sit there and they can just see how tired I am. <laughs> and just by the way, I'm like trying to, trying to translate. I'm having an amazing time. It's kind of interesting to see the transitions you go through from day to day. It's, um, some of the things that have been most surprising for me, um, I didn't realize it rained so much here. I knew it was rainy season, but I had no idea it was going to be this much and this cold, actually. I thought it would be warm. And some things that I've really enjoyed, the people are so, so nice here. Um, and it's just gorgeous. So we got to go to Manuel Antonio last weekend and it was, the beach was gorgeous. It was really fun. What's been most frustrating, um, it's not a piece of cake day to day. It's, it's, your head hurts from learning so much Spanish and sometimes you don't have the energy to try to talk to your family. Um, some days you do, so some days are better than others. Um, I don't know, my Spanish has really gotten a lot better since I've been here and I can definitely understand a lot more. So that's really good, and um, I thought there for a while that my Spanish was digressing, or at least being able to, to uh, speak it, but the last couple of days it's gotten better, so I don't know if it was just me getting a little tired or if I need a little vacation. This is Kim checking in in Costa Rica for about a month now, and we are having a good time. Definitely being able to understand all of the people a lot better, and I have full conversations with my family, Tika, here. Aki. I kind of phase in and out between both languages and I don't really speak English that well anymore, but I'm speaking Spanish a lot better. Costa Rica is an exciting and wonderful place to improve your medical Spanish skills. It's a fun and rewarding program, but it's not a vacation. You work very hard and it's tiring to live and work 24 hours a day in Spanish. But in the end, you come back home with the practical skills you need to work more effectively with your Spanish-only patients. And if that's one of your goals, this might just be the perfect fit for you.